If you travel to the very edge of the universe... Okay, assuming there is one. It's a bit like asking where's the edge of a neutron flux. There's no hard boundary, just a region where it gradually tapers off. Throw a spear into it, and it passes through, <laughs> then it did- Really? ...actually hit the boundary. Yes. The flawed assumption that it's a physical wall. It's kind of like with a neutron escaping a reactor's boundary. It just leaked out of the core region, which is not the same thing as an edge. ...moved into more space. This means the universe must not actually end at the edge. It or just passes into another medium. ...must be bigger. But if you throw the spear and it bounces off... Now that would imply an interaction with something, just like neutron scattering or absorption. That means that there still has to be something on the other side to get. And so in nuclear systems, when something stops a particle, it's because of matter. But the universe isn't necessarily embedded in a larger material, the way a reactor core sits inside steel, concrete, and biological shield. Something isn't nothing. Getting philosophical here, though a container isn't required in this case. Being either way, the edge can't be the end, right? Though the spear test doesn't prove that. Need a different measuring tool. This assumes that the universe has an actual okay, here edge, we go. when in reality, space itself could just bend and warp around itself. So most cosmological models say it doesn't have an edge. The idea is you walk far enough and eventually you might find your way back to start with enough time, just like walking on the surface of a planet, or a reactor vessel that curves around on itself. That would be an interesting design. Meaning, no matter how far you travel, you just might never find an end to throw the spear at. So the universe is likely finite but unbounded. The same way a control rod guide tube has finite geometry that you can follow but without actually hitting the edge because you're just surrounded by it.